Welcome back to I Am Interceptor, everyone. We're here in Gatherington to... The outcome of the sacrifice's journey doesn't matter to me in the slightest. In fact, I am not long for this world anyway. I wouldn't mind seeing it end with my own eyes. Wow. <laughs> that was even darker than I thought this game would go. Anyway, we're trying to save Julianne and the world, despite what that guy, you know, thinks. Lately, I've been able to gather timber from the nearby mountains. I brought you to thanks for getting rid of the monster. I'm very grateful to all of you. Yeah, you're pretty great. You're, you're right. You know, Sayagi keep, seems quite cheerful sometimes now. She always kept herself to herself, but ever since you came here, she really seems to have changed. Oh, that's nice. What's that? Now you've been to Magna Valley too? Wow. Oh, by the way, apparently the sacrifice party stopped by here. You probably just missed them. That guy is so out of it. <laughs> he cracks me up, though. <laughs> uh, a day late and a dollar short, right? Hey. Hey, I missed you. It's our companion, Julienne. She's in real trouble. So we've come to ask for your help. So it is as I feared. I did sense it faintly the first time I met her. I thought that her magical energy was different from that of a human. What did you do to her? <laughs> Just, uh, neither seems quite right, so we'll be nice for once. Please heal, Julian. Of course. I, if I could cure her, then I would. I cannot stop her transformation. It is far beyond my power. So there's nothing left we can do? You misunderstand. I merely said it was beyond my power. Huh? What do you mean? What I mean is that I do have an idea of someone who might be able to help her. Just one person, mind you. Really? There is a spell that can drive out the evil influence of monsters. If you use it, you may well be able to control her transformation. Tell, uh, who is it? Where? There is no need to look far. The spell of which I speak may only be used by one who is worthy, one who possesses both noble spirit and great selfish selflessness. I am talking about you, Interceptor. Me? But I, I don't know any spell like that. No, of course you do not. I am going to teach it to you. However, learning the spell carries with it a significant risk. Oh, jeez. Well, what do you mean? Father's worried. How sweet. If not learned properly, its force will be returned upon the caster. And if that happens, death is certain. Oof. But you are the sacrifice. Many lives and futures rest upon your shoulders. It is possible that you may end up needlessly throwing away your own life to try and save just one. I don't think it would be needless. And anyway, I know I shall reach the last lands no matter what. I'll be fine. So please, tell me how I can save Julienne. Here, take this. Power Drain Sprite Knight. Eh? What's this? Sprite Knight that has lost its power. Now we are going to imbue it with a new power. A power that will allow us to bring back that young lady's spirit and life force. This is our last chance to save her. Okay. You must simply do one thing. Use your healing powers to endure my light elemental magic attacks. Okay. You must show me your determination, your will. Use my healing powers to endure your light elemental magic. I understand, Sayagi. I can do it. I know I can. This is weird. Very well. Come outside. You must simply heal yourself and withstand my attacks. Okay. And I'll just wait. Alrighty. 
So far, so good, I guess. Still doing fine. No problems. We're good. How long do we have to do this? Oh, you missed. Sucker. But all the blood stuff is really making me think back to, uh... When I was playing Dragon Age, because the Grey Wardens have to drink the blood of the monsters. So... Yeah. She could become a Grey Warden. That'd be awesome. I really like Grey Wardens. Alright, we're doing fine. This is very strange, but not at all a problem. Alright. Oh. Well, there you go. That was easy. Ish. Ooh. Hey, you all right, Interceptor? Oh. I'm fine. I just feel a little weak. Mm. That much is to be expected until you're accustomed to the spell. It simultaneously produces both a powerful, evil repelling attack and sacred healing energy. Sweet! Luminaire! Wow, I wouldn't be able to pull that off in a million years! Me neither! Thank you very much, Sayagi. I have nothing left to teach you. The rest is up to you. I shall be praying for your good fortune. And that you die a quick death. Alright. So let's have the family. Okay. Real quick. This one to be cured. Do I have to actually, like, equip the Sprite Knight? Uh, Luminaire. I guess so. Sweet. Let's, let's equip some more Sprite Knight. Alters the laws of the universe. Wow. Is that really something I want to do? I don't think we should encourage that. Yeah, sure. This all sounds fine. Man, look at all these things we have. Okay. Whew. Let's go. Let's go save our best friend, Julianne. Do you have anything new to say? Yeah, we totally just missed the Summoner's Party. Bye. Bye, guy who wants to watch the world burn. Let's do this. check to make sure there's no new treasure. <laughs> Akash isn't hiding there. Go 
this way. We will never go that way. That way leads to death. Eventually we'll go that way. Eventually we'll be on like level 99 and be able to beat those monsters, but heck if I know how to do it. That might require actually looking at a guide and seeing what they're weak against and stuff. I do like that the magic users are still pretty tough when it comes to punching people. Magic users generally have a s- oh, well, okay. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh, cure everyone. And switch our party, because we're probably gonna have a fight. Although Interceptor will probably have to be in it, huh? Yeah, yeah, she probably will. So let's give her an ether. Okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hi, Julianne. We have a lance for you. Be our friend. Your Highness, please. Please endure it for just a little longer. Urgh. Everyone, please get back. Lady Interceptor, you have some sort of plan. When I give this signal, please remove the spell that's binding her. Very well. Now! Oh. Is this gonna work? I don't know what sound that is in the background. I think the downstairs people are doing something. I can't tell. Anyway, Interceptor, are you alright? Interceptor! Lady Julienne, please be strong. Cornelius, I, I see. So you all... If you want to thank someone, thank Interceptor. She's the one who saved you. What is that? Anyway, I see. Julianne, you're all right. Thank you, Interceptor. All right, she's back, hooray! She's back, Our Lady Julienne. Her Highness has returned. Hooray! Three cheers for the princess. Come, all of you. I understand how you feel, but please, quieten down. I think that's a typo. Does a monster's blood seem to have left your body now, Your Highness? Most likely, it has not left entirely, but I shall no longer let it rule me. I can control it with my own strength. I know that much. Ah, oh, do you remember anything? Like how to get us into this seal? All I remember is a world of perpetual, all-consuming darkness. It is the dark spawn from Dragon Age. A feeling of intense loneliness and of rage towards others. These emotions took control of my mind, spurring me on towards destruction. Whether they were my own emotions or the result of some other influence, I do not know. At the same time, far away in the distance, I could hear a voice. Yes, a voice. A sad voice. I know not if it was the voice of a man or a monster, but the sorrow behind it tore at my heart. Each time I heard it, it seemed to eat away at my soul, and I was unable to fight back. No, Lady Julian, you have fought bravely. This old man knows it well, as do all the knights. I thought that my duty to restore my homeland was the only thing that kept me going. Um, 
These both seem too positive. But really, there was something else? Indeed, Eldir. It is exactly as you say. It is you, the knighthood, who truly kept keep me born. You and all the people of the village who believe in me. Aw, I apologize for having worried all of you so. I know it is a lot to ask, but will you continue to lend me your support? Our hearts are with you, your highness. They always have been and always shall be. There are none among us who have lost even an ounce of faith in you. Thank you, Cornelius. I intend to see this journey through, so that our homeland may finally be restored. Together with my saviors, I shall see the last lands for myself. I shall learn the truth behind the Orc Kingdom. Alright, let's do this. Ordoyal gates, in the name of my forefathers, I command that you open. In my veins flow royal blood, for it is I, Julienne, the last true successor to the kingdom. Woohoo! A fancy cool kingdom with a fancy cool airship. So our only hope of getting across the vanishing lands is inside here. Let us enter. Turn up. Yes! Finally! Oh, that was too sad. Get out of there, Interceptor. You don't get to take her place. Um, and she's got a new weapon. That's right, you take it, you own that, it is yours, and let's get you, if you need a new sprite knight, no, we're good, okay, aw, oh, this is great, this is the best feeling, to think her highness is life, saved by Lady Interceptor, I am filled with gratitude, and with shame for my own ignorance. Yeah, seriously. Don't you feel bad for having hired me to kill Interceptor now? Oh, complicated. I wonder if that is why he hired him. It's, it's, I don't really understand. Hey, Julian, you're sure it's all right for us to be here as well? If you are not with me, this shall have no meaning. After all, it is thanks to you that I am even standing here. Okay. Any treasure? It's yours by rights, you're not even stealing it. Not that I have a problem with stealing treasure from old castles. In video games. I say. Honestly. Don't steal. Stealing is wrong. I don't even steal music or ebooks or stuff. Alright. Well, let's see how hard these dudes are. They look the opposite of hard, but they have, you know, high HP, so... Oh, they're ice babies like me. I wonder why I thought about this after the fact. Previously, when I had Julian in my party and she wasn't doing any damage, I wonder if it's because of an elemental thing. But I do not know. These are such weird ruins. Like who, who did this? Who built this? Don't you ever wonder? I certainly do. Let's do some... I guess jump. Cyclone. Okay. 
Treasure, though, so I think aura is his cure, and I've just been using life like an idiot. Whoops, sorry. Oh, now I'm getting lost. Oh no, I just want the way that leads to treasure first. I definitely have to use life. No question about that. Choke around with their treasure chest, which I appreciate very, very much. All right, so this way we have to hit this thing to get that treasure. Very important. Oh, give you your new weapon. And while we're here, interceptor, you go ahead and. Where do I want to go? Mm, let's go the other way. Let's see what's up here. Let's do us. I really hate these guys. See? Julian hates them too. Okay, I think we're nearing time here, so 
the next episode we will continue through this palace and hopefully get some ooh well let's watch this before oh one of royal blood i have a question for thee what is the question huh what was that voice doesn't seem like anyone's about to attack us or nothing. Hmm. A question, eh? Very well. Ask your question, and I shall answer. Long ago, a peasant requested counsel with the king and told him of his hardship. The king felt pity for the peasant and bestowed upon him a gift, his own ring. The peasant thanked the king and promptly sold the ring in order to ease his financial hardship. Were the king's actions just? That is the question I put to thee. The king's the most powerful man in the country. He can't just ignore people and let him suffer. He was definitely just. Hmm, I wonder. Isn't it unfair for the king himself to be giving the peasant a gift? I'm sure everyone else would have liked him to help them out too. All right, that's enough chatting. Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and each think of your answer. Let our minds be as one. Um, I think Ender's going with the classic dot dot dot. One who lacks decisiveness is not fit to become king. Leave here. Well, of course Ender's not going to become king. So, are we starting over? I guess we'll find out next time on I Am Interceptor. Ciao!